and then run a pure sign inverter which that way you won't have to buy such a big one because those are thousands of dollars run a pure sign inverter on your um, regular uh, 110 uh, you'd have two systems going but I think it would work best that way uh, and then just run a battery charger as you're building your system run a battery charger which you can get for 50 bucks uh, also you want to get a desulfator uh, for your battery packs it'll triple the life of your batteries uh, get a desulfator and hook it up there look that up online desulfator crystals build up on your on the insides of your batteries and this desulfator sends a frequency through your batteries that explodes those crystals and keeps your your, your lead plates clean and and it keeps a good uh, it just it's just a good way to maintain a healthy set of batteries for your battery bank and then you know obviously you're going to want to wire your battery bank up one on one corner one on the total opposite corner so that you get a nice even load going but basically um, right now after looking at all that then okay so now what happened was I'm looking at transformers I'm saying look I don't want to pay all this money for these uh, pure sine wave inverters so is there a way to take a modified sine wave inverter uh, and you know like a workaround tweak it or do something and there is there's something called a feral transformer okay I, and in the process of studying a feral transformer and trying to learn and read about it boom I, I found this okay uh, and this is uh, gonna this is probably gonna save me somewhere up to 25 percent on my electric bill now in order to save 25 percent with wind turbines I would need to have uh, what did I come up with? Six wind turbines. Okay, on my uh, 25% is 250 kilowatts. 250 kilowatts. I'd need at 40 kilowatts a turbine. I'd need six of them. Okay, and at $600 a piece, that's 30. That's a lot of money that I'm not interested in spending off the get-go. First, I want to re reduce what I'm actually using. This thing here is going to do that. Um, uh, this is going to make it so that my appliances don't draw as much well they'll still draw the same amount but they will not whatever they don't use this thing will catch it and then circulate it back into the system so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing here open it up hope I haven't gone over my 12 minutes or 10 minutes alright I'm not one for being in the camera I'm not shy. I'm a good looking guy. But I don't like weirdos. And okay, so here we go. Looks like I got some kind of instructions here. Um, I'll take a picture of that and put it into the video. So you can get it clear. This this is just a little camera that I'm using here. You got your styrofoam crap right here. Get that crap out of here. Now this one I got on eBay for 150 bucks. And oh, by the way, I ordered this sucker on Monday, and it is now Friday, and here it is. So I ordered this. This chick. is going to get a great feedback from me. I ordered it on Monday, Monday at like 3 o'clock in the morning. I found it. As soon as I found it, I did my research. I didn't go to bed that night until I knew for sure that this wasn't bogus. I wanted to make sure that this, this thing would actually work and wouldn't be, you know, just a scam. Now, if you type it in in the internet, you've probably seen scam all over the place. There is one that, there is one that you plug into your outlets. Okay, there it is. Mwah! going to save me some money. It's, anything saves me is money. Deserves a kiss. Mwah. I'm going to love that baby. Woo! Okay, I've been waiting for this. Alright, here we go. I don't normally kiss inanimate objects, but when they save me this kind of money, and they last 20 years, there it is. You see it right there. Let's get this bag opened up. But anyway, so I stayed up late that night and 
learned everything I could possibly learn. You're going to see some people have this one that you plug into a 110 outlet. Well, most of your motors are running on 220, like your, your air conditioner, your, um, your furnace. Um, so you can use scissors. This is my favorite little knife. I've had it for years. It's a kitchen knife. It's the one I always go for when I need to pop something real quick. I'm sure you all have one like that. All right. Beautiful. Look at that baby. There it is. It's not that big. You can see I have small hands. Real small hands. Everybody tells me, you got a small hand. Look at that. It's tiny. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. There you go. Anyway. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. But uh, anyway. All right. So there it is. Now, uh, now we got to go down to Home Depot and get uh, uh, a yeah, fuse uh, breaker, break, uh, two pole breaker, 30 amp breaker uh, switches, and and a single pole, two amp or two twenty breaker dealy. Like I said, I don't, I'm not an electrician. I don't know all this stuff. But there it is. So we got it. Next step is to get the stuff that we need from Home Depot.